Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambitotronics. So today in this video, I will tell you about how we can basically edit a, a partition table. Uh, so what is partition table and how uh, we can uh, alter uh, the values of uh, partition values. Actually in Arduino ID you have seen uh, uh, like uh, there is one section uh, called partition table there you can select no OTA. A uh, huge OT, huge app, or uh, some somewhat uh, like one uh, no OTA with uh, uh, 1.1 1 MB steps, 1.5 MB steps. So these type of partitions were there. So now let's say in in the, in my last video I have told you about uh, steps, uh, how to uh, actually uh, alloc allocate steps memory for your project. So at the, in this project uh, if uh, let's say I want to create uh, one new project and I just want to uh, create a partition for steps so how will I do if uh, let's say I want to just uh, do one create one new project I'll just copy steps project to this new project and let's see what will happen so we'll go to file and uh, we'll just go to space IDF project here um, let's give it a name test 3 and next and finish so here this is the project now in this project now if I just want to open my steps project so let's import this that steps project so I'll go to import section and next browse and we'll just uh, go to the C drive expressive and framework workspace here is uh, uh, this uh, steps project uh, my last project so I just want to import this project and uh, let's copy the content of this steps example to my new example test 3 so let's see what happens whether it uh, as you can see we have partitions examples dot csp is there it's not there in this new project but what will happen let's see close the project just build this it will take a while So you can see uh, uh, building process is completed and uh, all the errors are gone. Now I'll just upload this code to my ESP32 and let's see what happens. As I have I had already explained this uh, this code to uh, in my last video. So let's just uh, select the COM port. Let me first connect my ESP32. com4 finish and let's upload the code so here you can see uh, now it's uh, uh, uploading is completed now if I'll just open the doc light 
serial monitor and let's see the code so here you can see uh, starting scheduler uh, starting schedule on app cpu initializing specs specs partition could not be found failed to find specs partition so there is uh, it is it could not able to find uh, specs partition so let's see uh, so these type of errors whenever you will get uh, so how to resolve these things uh, that thing i'll just uh, tell you here uh, so what you need to do basically first you need to check whether uh, your partition table has allocated uh, for this specs memory so for that what you need to do you need to just go to the powershell command prompt uh, here uh, you need to go to that particular path so i am already uh, i first need to go to the my workspace and now here i need to go to my project test 3 and here uh, idf dot pi partition table so here you can see uh, these are the things uh, uh, the name type subtype offset size and flags so here you can see nvs is uh, given partition uh, phi in it is given partition and factory app is uh, for factory app we have this much of partition these are in hex and last one is in uh, decimal so 24k for nvs uh, uh, and then 4k phi in it uh, app 000 is size the so name name is nvs type is data subtype nvs offset 0x90 size 24k so this uh, size value is this one so there is no space partition as we can see so how to change uh, how to edit this partition table that thing we need to go through so what will we do we will we'll just go to our partition table scheme so for that what you need to do so for that uh, you need to give one command uh, that is idf.py and space menu config oh sorry spelling mistake uh, typo menu config so here you first uh, need to go to serial flasher config select the flash size as 4 MB as we are using 4 MB chip uh, now go to the partition table uh, back, uh, backspace you need to uh, ta click uh, to go to the back um, uh, for uh, in this case go to partition table partition table signal factory no OTA so here custom partition table so partition table custom partition table and uh, here is the partition dot csp now you need to change this thing so what you need to do you need to just uh, allocate some memory for uh, this uh, spips uh, part so uh, what actually you need to do here in this case so uh, <coughs> Uh, here uh, this partition dot csp this is the name of the our partition dot csp don't change this name we will uh, just create one file of uh, uh, this name in our project uh, test 3 so what will we do we will just go to our project and we will create one file that is named as partition csv so this file is created now what we need to do we need to go to the spips part and there in partition examples dot csv uh, just open it through text editor open with text editor and just copy this content and here uh, in this partition dot csv uh, open with again text editor here you just copy this content and save it 
now uh, again rebuild this uh, first close this project now you need to rebuild this build project so it's building now okay successfully generated now i'll just upload this code as you can see here in this new file a uh, name we did not to did not change because partitions name by default partitions name is there so partitions.csv is there and uh, the last one you can see is pips is there and we have allocate near about 0x app triple zero memory so uh, now i'll just upload this code and let's see what happens now uh, my com port is open now we will go to our dock light again and let's see still it is showing uh, fail to find steps partitions ok let me check uh, I think uh, I think some problem I think I did not save this thing in my uh, means through command prompt I did not save that so let's go to here and uh, partition.csv ok go to back and uh, first go to partition dot table partition custom partition table uh, save now it's saved and uh, now we need to just quit uh, now I think we can able to see that thing yeah now it's saved uh, as you can see it's a rebuilding now so uh, I'll just make it make it fast I'll just pause the video yeah it's building completely so this configuration for our custom partition now this configuration is, is saved so definitely uh, now our steps partition will be created uh, so let's just upload this code and check this thing here yes here you can see partition size total this much and used 502 opening file file return renaming file reading file read file from file hello world and scripts unmounted so all things happened so uh, this way we can create custom partition what you need to do you need to just go to the command prompt and from there you need to just uh, idf.py menu config you, have, you need to config and uh, in partition table you need to select custom partition and file should remain same and just uh, before uh, doing anything just uh, save this partition table here and uh, create and save the partition table so this way you can in a, uh, just uh, uh, create partition table uh, custom partition table so I hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below and if you really like uh, this tutorial and uh, if you are really really getting something just uh, give it a thumbs up so that it just motivate me to make uh, more videos like that thank you guys thank you very much